Hey y'all, welcome to my kitchen and welcome back to another episode of A Gardener's Journey Homestead. I am Barbara and I'm glad that you're gonna be with me today because we're in the kitchen doing a lot of things, but on this video, I'm gonna be um, experimenting and doing something I never tried before. I'm gonna do some apple pie filling, but I'm not going to can it. I'm actually going to freeze it. Um, I saw this on another homesteader's um, page and I thought, hmm, that's kind of neat. And I was still planning on um, filling, doing my apple pie filling and canning it because that's what I've done before. But life is life and I don't have a lot of time um, to get jars sanitized, pull out the equipment. My kitchen is a mess. I'm still, I got one little last piece of summer harvest that I'm still trying to preserve. So all the things. And this method appears to be much quicker. So that's why I'm trying it. So I want to take you along with me as we do that. So I have, and another thing I need to use these apples. They've been in my refrigerator, which they will store in cold storage um, for months. This is a golden delicious apple, but I've had them out of the refrigerator for like four days now because I've been trying to do this um, canning project. But we're just gonna jump in and get to it. So the first thing I'm gonna do obviously is to peel and core the apples, but I'm not gonna do it. My KitchenAid is gonna do it. So I have the um, core, Cora slicer peeler attachment um, that goes to my kitchen aid that I'm gonna use. I got it probably a year ago. This is my first time using it like for real, for real. Like I used it once before just to test it out to see if how it works, but I haven't used it for real like for a recipe or for cooking. So this is my first time and I can tell you I'm already in love. So let's get to it. So this is my kitchen aid. This is the attachment that goes to it. So basically we're going to stick the apple on here and I apologize for my setup. I'm using this on my counter instead of using the tripod on the floor because I thought maybe we could get a better shot. But basically we are just going to bring this closer. Until that bottom part is like right there. We're gonna turn it on. You can see, you get a ball to catch this. Look at that. Much quicker, much easier. You can see that it makes them just like this. You can make them um, even thinner than this. There's another attachment. It comes with like three different attachments. So you can make, but you can see how thin that is. That's perfect for me. Mm, it's good too. See, let me get a cutting board real quick. So as they're coming out, all I'm gonna do is just like cut them in half. So they're half moon shape, kind of like that. And then I have a bowl with some lemon water um, that I'm gonna dump them into to um, helpfully keep from browning. So we're just gonna get this process going. And so basically I move that back. I take that off. This is what I have left. So I'm gonna peel or I'm gonna let the machine peel and core all these apples and then I'll bring you back and show you what's the next step. Y'all, I am so in love with this. <laughs> let me show you, it's been two minutes, two minutes. This is how many apples I have. You, <sighs> y'all. Two minutes, this bowl is almost filled. If I was peeling these by hand or using that crank thing, hey, no shame on the crank thing, because I've done that before too. But, and then you just amp the speed up. I was going on like on two. I'm like, what? Let's just amp it on up. Y'all, if you make apples, applesauce, if you want to dehydrate apples and you don't have one of these and you have a KitchenAid, walk, don't run to Amazon right now and go get you one. It is so, I cannot believe I have had this for a year and have not done anything with it. You know how some tools you're just like, okay, that's cool. But then you get other tools and you like, 
Where has it been all my life? Like, this is the bomb.com. Y'all. She going fast now. Uh, 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 uh. So in love. So in love. Okay, y'all. This that made me happy. Now, if you have one of these, let me know if some of yours come off before um, in the beginning. Or does it all just come off in one big thing? Seems like when I saw her do it, hers just came off in one big thing. It ain't no big deal. Trust and believe. But, okay. Got a few little seeds in there. So, I wonder if I have enough. I might have enough. And like, look, this is all my scraps right there. Now, I've heard, I've never done it before, but I've heard, read, and saw that you can make um, apple cider vinegar out of these scraps. And I even saw somebody say that you can make apple jelly out of the scraps or whatever. Now, it makes sense that you can make apple cider vinegar because I would assume that you just add vinegar to this and it would infuse, I would assume, that's what you do. Apple jelly, I'm like, hmm, how would you do that? I don't know. I'll probably look it up. If not, you can always compost it. That's some goodness right there that can go into your compost. But look, we got a bowl full and I'm only doing two pies this way because I want to see if I like it. Um, let me go, let me go two or three more. And I'm so excited because y'all, I have a lot of apples left. I didn't know how many it would take because I couldn't really gauge. Hold the phone. This makes me so happy. Now, I don't be asking y'all to spend money. I spend my money. And then if y'all want to follow suit, that's on you. So if you've been watching me for a while, you know I don't be telling you to go buy this. I just share with you what I'm doing. If you feel so inclined that you need it in your life, so be it. But I'm telling you, if you do anything with apples and you hand peeling, especially if you already have a KitchenAid, walk, do not run, and go get this. Now, I didn't set it up. My husband did. But I think it's relatively easy. So next time I'll get him to show me how to set it up so I can do it on my own. Y'all know I try to be independent, right? But sometimes I'm not. Um, but he set it up. Boom, boom, boom. Press the button. I got all these apples. Okay, I think that's enough. And I want to say I probably only use like 10 apples. So I got a, this is a, um, y'all look at me. This is a half a bushel. I still got this many left. So I'll be making applesauce and probably apple butter. And I still make hands and um, pie filling, but I wanna see if I like this first. So let's move on to the next step and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do this filling. Okay, so I have half of the apples that I put in this colander and I just rinse them a little bit to get the lemon water off of them. Then we're gonna add, uh-oh some flour so we're gonna make up the filling like you're like if I was making a pie today and if I had a crust I might would make it today but I'm using this recipe it says a fourth a cup of flour that's a third cup let's see okay so we're gonna pour that in there let me see if I can get you Sorry about that, I don't have my little usual setup. So we got a fourth a cup of flour. It says a teaspoon of salt. So, teaspoon of salt. Um, this is a tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice. I don't have that. We're gonna do cinnamon instead. So, Pumpkin pie spice is just a blend of like cinnamon, nutmeg, pumpkin pie, and cloves or stuff like that, I think. So we're gonna use some cinnamon instead. Um, it says fresh nutmeg. I don't have fresh nutmeg, but I do have ground nutmeg right here. 
So we'll add a little bit of that. And then three fourths cup of brown sugar. eyeballing it and then because I like it in my pie and because it's just like vanilla I'm adding some vanilla it don't call for that but that's what I'm adding okay and then we're just gonna give this a stir So the flour is going to help it thicken up. Um, one of the things when I made um, apple pie filling before, and I have not made it in probably two or three years. It was like one of the first recipes I did when I first started canning. Um, it was runny uh, because I didn't add any type of thickener when I canned it, so to speak. So you can see what that's looking like. Just like regular old goodness apple pie. If I need more atoms, let me just taste a little small piece of this. I really don't want to taste the flour, but mm-hmm, that's good. Okay, that's good. So here's the magic, y'all. I got stuff everywhere. Here's my pot plate. This is what I will be baking it in. We're gonna take some parchment paper. And for this, I'm using the stuff that's not pre-cut because I need to be a little bit bigger than the pot. But we're gonna make it, we're gonna put this in here like the shape of the pot. So we're gonna pour all of this in there. all of that goodness. I think I estimated just about right. This is probably a more full pie than I like. I like more crust, less apples. So this probably has more apples in it than I would want. I'm actually gonna take some of these out because I don't want. Now, but it's your pie, you can do however you wanna do it, okay? But for me, I like the crust and the juice. A Little bit of apple, not a lot of apples. Okay, do you see that? So we have it in the shape of the pie. So now, when I saw her do this, I was like, oh, we're just gonna wrap this up like this. And tuck it under. basically just like this. Let's cut this under a little bit more. You see that? I'm gonna put this in the freezer. I'm literally gonna put this in the freezer, get it frozen, and then once it's frozen, I'm gonna take it out, put it in a Ziploc bag, it'll be frozen. So that way when it's time to make the pie, all I gotta do is put my crust in here, Take this out, put it in the pie crust. It's already the shape of the pie crust. And voila, you have homemade apple pie. Is that not ingenious? So, we got one. I'm probably going to have enough for three, but I only have two pie plates. That's okay. Let's keep going. Let's make one more. easy that was two pies done and I actually have enough for a third pie so what I may do I'm gonna see how long they can hang out in the lemon water and then when those two are frozen then I can do another one because remember once they freeze I'm gonna just wrap those up into um, gallon size freezer bags and I'll freeze them just like that so um, if they will stay good in this 
they're already starting to turn brown a little bit. If they stay good in this lemon water, then I can go ahead. Well, you know what? I can just mix it up. That's what I can do. I can go ahead and mix it up and then I can always throw it in the freezer and that way I'll have three apple pie fillings ready to go. Now all I gotta do is make some make ahead pie crust or if I'm being lazy, buy some pie crust at the store and we have apple pie just like that. So um, I saw this on Becky from Acre Homestead. She is one of my favorite YouTubers. And I wanna say that she saw it on somebody else's page as well. So y'all, that's what we do. We see stuff, we, we try it and we share it with our audiences. It's all about us sharing and being a part of the community. But I'm so excited about my new KitchenAid attachment. I'm excited that I just made apple pie filling that I didn't have to can. Um, and I was able to check something off my list and get it done. And I still have more apples that I can make applesauce, apple butter, I can dehydrate some apples. So more apple stuff to come. But thank you guys for joining me today for a quick time in the kitchen. Literally y'all, I've been in the kitchen for 25 minutes and I made two apple pie fillings just like that. So sometimes you can do your tried and true way of how you always do it, like canning it, that's kind of what you know. But it's okay to venture out sometimes and to try something different. And again, I was only trying to do two, but I'm gonna have enough for three, which is awesome. Um, and it all worked out. And if it tastes good, I don't know why it wouldn't taste good, because it sure tasted good raw, then that's a winner all day long. So if you have apples um, this fall, if you have a KitchenAid attachment, get in there and do this thing make you some make ahead apple pie filling and if you want to can it go right ahead and can it but go ahead and make you some so that way on a cold winter day when you want something warm and good to eat and the store is closed down and there's snow on your road you can go right in your freezer or your pantry and make you and your family some good old apple pie is there anything any more american than apple pie i don't think so so thank you guys for joining me i appreciate you remember garden is a journey let's grow together i'll see you next time